M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I'm just going to show you this OSTAR MMDVM hotspot that we're using. Now, OSTAR is like PiStar, but different. And the reason we've got it is because it's it's a cheaper hotspot, but it's a very nice looking hotspot. as has a color screen and the back lights up red with the charge. I'll show you in the next part of the video. And, the, you know, they're around £100 by the time they get delivered. Now, the OSTAR system, this is what the screen looks like, and the OSTAR system uh, looks like this. Now there is a setup process, so when you first get it, you just turn it on and in your Wi-Fi it will show up OSTAR like this. And to, that's the username and the password is the, the same, OSTAR, but instead of a flat line it's an at, so OSTAR at. You put that in and then you'll get to this screen here. Now when you first go to settings, it's going to ask you to set up a password, uh, which is, uh, you know, expected. But once you get part, it, you know, you just put that in like normal. And then you'll go to the general tab here and you just put in your call sign, your DMR number. It's, it's, a, it's actually a duplex hotspot, but we've set it, set it up as simplex. It's VHF and UHF. Then you put in the frequency or frequencies you're going to use. Location, Southwest UK. I've put multi-mode hotspot. You've got your QRZ there and that's it. Then click save and apply when you, you've done that there. Then you go to digital mode. And this is where you're just going to choose if you're going to use DMR, D-Star, Fusion. So if you look here, DMR, you can choose your server that you're going to use. You don't really, well, the color code's there. I didn't change that. Now, I have had a problem. I'm not really sure where to put the self-care password. Uh, so someone let me know if they've done that and they know. But otherwise, with YSF, you just choose where you're going to go, America Link. Uh, I don't use P25 NXDN and then D-Star, I've been using that all day and that works great. And I just put in a B here and literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters, reflector, 30C, save and apply. And say if you want to use D-Star, you just click the tick. If you want to use um, DMR, click the tick. Well, you can only, as far as I can see, you should only do one at a time. Um, I don't touch this pox sack thing. So once I've done that, I mean, there is, there's a lot of information here, firewall, system log, kernel, system administration, you can reboot, start up, uh, different settings. I'm not going to go through all that. Now, the important one, though, is travel, mate. So go to services and go to travel, mate. And that's where you actually have to add your Wi-Fi or, or it won't work. So go to travel, mate, under services, then go to wireless stations. And then I've added Mercury, as you can see, you can add and then you can move the important one up and down. I wouldn't delete the ones that come with the device because if you reset it, that's what it uses. So you move up and down. So I've made my one the most important. So it, it connects to that first. Now, if you want to add add more, it's not a problem. You can just uh, add your mobile phone, add other things and away you go. So give it a go. See what you think. I'll do some more videos sort of demonstrating it. I just logged out there by accident. And uh, yeah, this is the section where you will have to create your own password. So thanks for watching my channel and I'll watch the rest of the video and see how you get on. Bye for now.